<laughs> when did you surprise me? <laughs> oh, oh, man, you scared me. Oh, you Carrie. surprised me. Pastor Carrie. Hey, Linda. I have a little surprise for you. You do? Oh, it's, I love giving people wow. gifts. Fun. Wow. <laughs> I, I know you like those colors. It's like Mardi Gras <laughs> in <laughs> spring. A purple ducky. Isn't it the cutest thing yeah. ever? I know you'd love all that stuff. I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought you'd be. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Pastor Carrie, it's been so long since we've done it this. It has been a while. Yeah, and, and we did miss doing Wednesday worships together, but we really love doing Holden um, on those Wednesdays for Lent services. And I, I think the whole mm -hmm. focus of Lent was so meaningful and powerful mm -hmm, for people mm -hmm. as well. So, But it's fun to be back. It is. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we start this evening with a call to worship? Yes. We come to you, Lord with gratefulness and wonder, with awe at your power to save us. We want to follow the women to the tomb. We want to hear the surprising words, he is not here. We want to kneel before Christ with joy and thankfulness. And we want to leave here busting with good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. <laughs> So our scripture reading today is from the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my God and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. There's a lot of surprises in this. There sure are. Reading. Um, <clears throat> first, can you imagine how surprising it was when she went to the tomb and there were two angels there? That would be almost scary, I think. <laughs> I would think so. It would be alarming. It would be surprising. And then to also look inside and, and think you were going to take care of Jesus' body, and there was nobody. And it's gone. That would be a, a really strange surprise. Right. And scary. I mean, it, it really is a scary thought. Yeah. And then the next surprise is that she's out crying, and then... Somebody who she thinks is the gardener, who is mm -hmm. actually Jesus, comes. And then she's surprised when he says, why are you crying? Mm -hmm. And she realizes who it is. It's, it's such a powerful thing. And God surprises us in so many ways every single day. But he surprised Mary at the tomb many times. Yep. <laughs> and then can you imagine how surprising it was when she went, to the disciples and told them what she had seen. And would they have believed that? I mean, that what, it's kind of like that April Fool thing. Hey, listen to right. what I, you know, Jesus is back, ta-da! But they were just as surprised as she was, right. I'm sure, and didn't believe her either at first. Right. God is full of surprises. <clears throat> he is, I think that's his second name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Because he surprises us in so many ways every day. Little tiny things that just go, Wow, um, like when I gave you that present, you were very surprised. <laughs> Some surprises are more exciting. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. But 
Uh, we are surprised, and a lot of times I think when we have surprises, we feel a different sense of joy, and it, it just lifts us up, and it's, you know, things we don't expect. And that's what a surprise is, things right. that we don't the expect. the unexpected, right. And sometimes they're like pulling a handful of beads and a purple duck out of a bag. <laughs> <laughs> but other times it is like walking into this tomb and saying, he's not here, what has happened? And all of a sudden it's like the gardener saying, hey, who are you looking for? I'm right here. It's me, Jesus. And it's like, you've been here this whole time. <clears throat> and that is a, a immense, mm -hmm. and that is a tremendous surprise. Well, and what's interesting, too, when you think about it is, <clears throat> Jesus told them that that was what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And still, they were surprised. Right. Because sometimes we don't believe. That's true. And we, we don't, more than that, maybe we just don't understand what is being said. Right. right. And... <clears throat> I, you know, we just also read the story of Thomas wanting to feel his wounds, um, to believe in. And I think that's what we deal with every day, that the surprises are too great for us to understand. And so we need a proof. We need to be able to reach out and touch and know that the surprise is real. And that's what Jesus was allowing Thomas that time. Right. To know, I really am here for you and will be with right. you. Um, so, but I love those surprises and some mornings, you know, you think it's going to be a stormy day and you walk outside and all of a sudden the sun breaks through the clouds. Right. What a wonderful surprise. And in the midst of tragedy or moments of despair, there's always that little ray of hope and sunshine. I think that's what surprises do bring to us, especially when they come from God, is that hope. Mm -hmm. um, that comes because of the surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a piece on here that I wanted to share with you. The preacher John Claypool once said, when you come in contact with the God depicted in the Bible, you might as well get ready for surprises. Across the centuries, God has proven to be a strange combination of faithfulness and unpredictability. And God has been that way from the very beginning, again and again. Surprise has proved to be God's other name. So do we expect God to surprise us? Now if you look at that question like that, yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> but I don't think on a daily basis I, I think about God will surprise me. And yet he does each and every day, some small way. Right. Well, I think <clears throat> we sometimes think, well, we know the end of the story, but God still comes to us anew mm -hmm. every year as we celebrate um, his being risen from the grave, we are surprised by the promises that come to us and what it means anew in our life at that point in our life. Mm -hmm. And I think through this last year, we've had a lot of really strange surprises. Some feel really good and some feel very scary, but I think we have to go back to the theme of our Lenten series that hope continues to change every, changes everything. And Jesus, with his hope that he gives us, changes everything each and every day in some way. Right. That gives us something to look forward to and that we can surprise others with God's love. Right. And that's really fun. And so if you get a purple document, it's a little bit of love from Jesus and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So should we say a prayer? Yeah. I have a really, really cool one I found. Okay. Let's pray. God, help us to live each day, each moment, in expectation that you are the God who always surprises and whose stories are so much greater than any story we could ever write for ourselves. Help us to continue to share your love. And some days, maybe that's a gift and a surprise for someone else. We thank you for all the surprises that you continue to shower on us, and help us to feel that hope and peace and to continue to share our faith and trust in you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Should we share the Lord's Prayer together? Let's do. Okay. Please join us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, I have a great way for us to go out today. All right. God loves, God's love makes us strong. It helps us to be brave. Because after all, God's love conquered the grave. So may we, live, may we live with great courage. Don't be afraid. Why are you crying? Jesus Christ has been raised. And may we hear the good news and with it take heed. Because friends, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Okay, okay. we will. will.